Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Biohub. In this video, we are going on a very special microscopic adventure to explore the basic differences between the animal cell and the plant cell. First difference is shape of the cell. Animal cells, they are generally round or irregular in shape. On the other hand, plant cell often has a fixed rectangular shape. Next difference is cell wall. Animal cells, they do not have cell wall. Instead, these cells they are surrounded by a flexible cell membrane. And flexibility of cell membrane enables the animal cells to enact like shape-shifting ninjas. On the other hand, plant cell has a rigid cell wall made up of cellulose outside the cell membrane and it provides structural support and protection to the plant cell. Next difference is position of the nucleus. In case of animal cells, nucleus is generally positioned somewhere near the center. But in case of plant cell, nucleus is often located at the periphery of the cell. Next difference is about the arrangement of cell organelles within the cell. In case of animal cell, cell organelles they are found scattered throughout the cytoplasm. Whereas in case of plant cell, cell organelles are often pushed to periphery of the cell due to large central vacuole. Coming to next difference that is vacuole. Vacuoles are generally absent in animal cell and in case they are present their number will be very less and they will be very small in size. On the other hand presence of a large central vacuole is the important identifying feature of plant cell. This central vacuole it helps in maintaining the turgor pressure within the cell. It helps in storing the nutrients and facilitates the waste disposal. Next perimeter of difference is plastids, green colored plastids. In case of animal cells, green colored plastids called as chloroplasts, they are absent. Whereas chloroplast is one of the major identifying feature of plant cell. Chloroplasts responsible for photosynthesis and gives green color to the green parts of the plant. Next difference is about non-green plastids. So non-green plastids, they are also absent in animal cell. Whereas a variety of non-green plastids are present in plants like chromoplast, eucoplast and they give vibrant color to the flowers, fruits, leaves and even a few of these non-green plastids, they serve the purpose of storage. Next point of difference is about mitochondria. Though mitochondria, they are present both in animal cell as well as plant cell but the number of mitochondria is more in animal cell and my number of mitochondria is much less in plant cell. The reason is that animal cells they are metabolically very active they need more energy so the number of mitochondria is more in animal cell. Next point of difference is about Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus is also present in animal cell and plant cell but in case of animal cells Golgi apparatus is larger in size but its number is much lesser. On the other hand, Golgi apparatus in case of plant cells, they are much smaller in size but more in number and here they are called dictyosomes. Next point of difference is about lysosomes. Lysosomes are very tiny membrane bound cell organelles. They are filled with special type of enzymes and they are involved in intracellular digestion. So these lysosomes, they are basically present in animal cells. But in case of plant cell, typical lysosome like structures are not there. But structures similar to it called lytic vacuoles, they are present and they have a different sort of function there. Next point of difference is about centrioles. They are very interesting and very small paired cell organelles. They are present outside the nucleus near the nuclear envelope and they play a very vital role during cell division. On the other hand, in case of plant cells, these centrioles, they are absent. Coming to next parameter of difference, that is cytokinesis. Cytokinesis means division of the cytoplasm. So in case of animal cell, that it has to divide into two daughter cells, this division start in the form of a cleavage furrow from periphery towards center. And in case of plant cells, division, it starts from center towards periphery with the help of formation of cell plate. Next difference between plant and animal cell is about cytoplasmic streaming. Cytoplasmic streaming is the rapid movement of organelles and other cellular components of the cell. Cytoplasmic streaming is present in some of the animal cells, whereas cytoplasmic streaming is very common in plant cells. In addition to this, viewers, 
few of the animal cells they do have certain hair like structures called flagella and cilia on their surface and they help these animal cells in locomotion and generally cilia and flagella they are absent in plant cells so that's it about the basic differences between the animal cell and the plant cell but for your convenience i have also made a comparative account of all the basic differences which we have discussed in this video between the animal cell and the plant cell do go through these for recap purpose thanks for joining me on this microscopic adventure stay curious and keep exploring the amazing world around you with this i'm signing out bye bye